Only on two, more Utah apartment complexes are taking part in dog DNA testing. Now, it's all to stop lazy owners who leave behind their dog poop. Amanda Gilbert is live after talking to dog owners tonight and to the organization behind this idea. Yeah, guys, well, some people watching might be doing this after work. This is my pup, Oreo, and I can understand it can be a pain to have to pick up after your pet, especially after a long day at work. But this is a reminder to just be respectful. <coughs> While Michael Kondrat loves walking his eight-year-old pup, Charlie, there's one thing he doesn't love. Anywhere you are can be littered with it. I step in it all the time by accident and it becomes a big pain. Dog waste. I wish everyone would be respectful and clean up. He's obviously not alone in that feeling, but Paul Smith with Utah Apartment Association says it can be hard to track down irresponsible owners. People think because nobody's watching they can get away with it. To deal with this dog dilemma, some apartments have partnered with Poo Prints. With Poo Prints, we feel like we can expand pet access. We don't want communities to go, you know, non-pet friendly because, you know, dog waste has become a major issue. Director of Business Development Patrick Neely says it starts with requiring DNA samples. Very simple DNA cheek swab, kind of like a 23andMe for humans. Then the apartment collects a sample from leftover waste and ships it to their lab. Then from there we will match the DNA from that waste sample. The owners are fined. It's different. I've seen them as high as $250. Uh, if there's multiple offenses, they can certainly be evicted. While some may think this could be extreme, Smith says... I'm told that as soon as these programs are implemented, uh, they only have to find people one time and it stops. A way to hold owners accountable. There's bags provided all around the necessary places, so there's really no excuse to not clean up after yourself. It's gaining popularity in our state. And the company says they've actually made it to all 50 states. To learn more, head to our news app. Reporting live in South Salt Lake, Amanda Gilbert, KUTV 2 News.